Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. We are Hurricane Headquarters here, and, and I want to tell you there's a lot to look at on this map, but right off the bat, I want to tell you nothing is expected to impact us. That said, let's let's dig into it here. Uh, Invest 95L. This is the storm that's going to be intensifying probably the quickest in terms of our potential development here. 70% chance of becoming a tropical depression within the next five days over the next seven to 10 days, it will then likely dissipate if it becomes a tropical depression. The secondary system with this African wave or this uh, tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa, that only has a 30% chance of development right now. Meanwhile, Hurricane Earl. Wow, this system is really strengthening quickly. Now a category two hurricane tracking to the north at nine miles per hour. Sustained winds are now up to 105 miles per hour. There's Bermuda, the outer bands of Earl just now beginning to reach Bermuda tropical storm force winds are expected to arrive later today. In fact, actually the latest forecast has it becoming a category four hurricane by Saturday morning as it grazes the Canadian Maritimes and then weakens over the North Atlantic as an extra tropical low pressure system. Meanwhile, Danielle, now a tropical storm as it moves to the northeast around 16 miles per hour. This one also not a concern for the United States, much less Florida, but it could be an issue bringing some heavy rainfall to Portugal and Spain and even France into early next week. So it tracks to the east. It'll go visit Europe. But again, for us, as we head toward the peak of hurricane season, nothing of an immediate concern for us.